Scott Live, along with uh, Star Third Baseman from Week One of DX. That's Saul Powell. How are you, Norman? And along with Ronnie Jamal, I'm Norman Jamal. We are here for uh, a couple of quick predictions, so if you will. Looking forward. How's your fast going so far? Fast is going well, Norman. Looking forward to the end. I think we have a couple hours left. A couple of hours. It's a long day, but um, all right, we'll get there. Maybe we'll release this quickly and give people a, you know, to, a 10, 12 minute item to, to, to waste some time. Um, so, great opening week. Wow. I love the split schedule. I wish I wish we could do it every week, but it's not really possible. But yeah, hey, it was, it's, it's it was so really great. great to be able, like now I feel like I know all the teams in the league. I was able to watch the first two games on Friday, my own game Sunday. Right. So now the only team I haven't really stared at not on video is cold blooded lookout which is playing at the same time as me so now i feel like every and this is doesn't just not just me everyone is at every game so i feel like everybody now knows the league much more after You're week right. one than other years great point great point and i didn't have to travel from field to field either that was great for me um this week we do have some traveling as we have extensive uh racetrack fields this year everybody um deal school it's already the kids season that's where they play and uh, so we are get used to the racetrack. Uh, the next four weeks, the schedule is very balanced. Everyone will be on all four fields, I think. I think that's the way it worked out. And then we'll flex the schedule after that. Um, okay, so Sol, let's start over at the racetrack. Why not? And let's okay. start with your game. You guys are facing a red-hot swimming team in the swimming pool. Maxi Deed was just named Player of the Week. Congratulations to Maxi Deed. Great. And uh, swimming... Their game one, they looked very, very sloppy, but he was able to get them out of so many jams. That was the point of showing all their mistakes, to show how good Maxi Deed really was. He gave up 12 hits, but there were six or seven errors early. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, he was really unhittable this week. So, you will be in the batter's box against uh, Maxi Deed this week, and it is DX. DX also without Joe Greenberg. Um, they're not replacing him. So that means he's coming back hopefully soon. Um, he obviously won't be playing this week, but um, but you guys looked really, really good shorthanded this past week. I was so impressed by DX. Um, so two two teams that are happy with their opening week, Swimming and DX. What do you think? I think I agree with you. I think it was pretty cool how we maneuvered pretty quick on the fly without really knowing everyone on the team. Um, week one. And Norma, I think we're just going to put our best foot forward and hope for the, uh, hope for the sweep. Oh, wow. So you're predicting a sweep? Or we know you're hoping for a sweep. Everyone hopes for a uh, we're sweep. We're hoping for a sweep, Norm. So you're not predicting a game. We're going to hope for a sweep. Norm. Okay, so, so not making a prediction. We are going to sweep. There we go. Ronnie Jamal, what do you think? Who's going to win? Swimming or DX? Or are they going to each win one time each? What do you think? I don't know. T take a guess. I'm swimming one. Swimming one. You think they're going to win both? Don't do that. Honey. You think they're going to win both? Yeah. Okay, swimming to sweep. I'm going to go with a split. I love both these teams. Um, and I think DX has a little bit too much offense for uh, Max and Swimming to completely dominate. Their offense is really good. Um, so I think once they score four or five runs, it might be tough for Swimming to get back in that game. Um, but Maxi Deed is Maxi Deed, so he's good enough to shut them down for one of the games. I'm going to go with a split over there. Um, let's go over to Oceanport 2. Okay. Rough and Rowdy. Um, against the ones who knock. So, I gotta say, Norm, rough and rowdy. I came out here live. I said that I love their team. Terrible hot I take. I said yeah. they're coming out. That that was my hot take of the week. Ooh. And let's be honest, they let me down. Uh, let's be honest, you let the viewers down with that hot take, and you got a lot of heat for that. I you can't, you can't just make a hot take like that. Well, that's that why home. it's called a hot take, but... But you gotta they be did. somewhat right. They yes. were not even. Uh, they definitely showed signs early on in the game, and they couldn't close it. They were lacking that one big hit when swimming uh, was making their errors. They were getting out of it. They needed that one big hit. Situationally, they were awful, and you know that's just not how you win games. You know you win games by getting hits and being and playing smart, and they didn't do, they didn't really do either. So I'm looking. I still like their team. I'm looking for them to. Rebound. I think they're going to get a win. I think they're going to get on the scoreboard. I don't think they're going to sweep. I'm going to downgrade my hot take, Rough and Rowdy. I'm going to downgrade them to a split. I'm also going with a split. Rough and Rowdy has a good roster. They're not going to start 0-4. The ones who knock um, look decent. 
Is this person kidding me with with the horn? Okay. Um, Rough and Rowdy has a has has too good of a roster to start 0 and 4 in my opinion. Um, so I think they're gonna yeah. they're gonna win a game. I don't think they're gonna win both because and too good of a pitching staff. Yeah, I think they have a strong. Um, and A.B. Cohen should be here this week, so I think that'll help them if they utilize him right. Ronnie, what do you think? Who's gonna win the game? There's two games, Rough and Rowdy, or the ones who knock. Rough and Rowdy, do you think they're going to win one game or both games? Uh, um, I'll, I'll go one game. One game. So Ronnie's going... Games. Two games. Hot take. Ronnie going with Rough and Rowdy to split, to, to uh, sweep the ones who knock. So let's go over to Feynman's West, the playground. Look out. Look out. Wow, what a sweep they had yes. against the cold-blooded cold team that everyone was loving, including both of us. Uh, they came back late, Mo Haber with the big knock, um, and then they dominated in game two. They looked really good. A.B. Saka, I don't remember the last time he had a team this strong. Um, that's that's a very powerful lineup. Uh, very strong roster. Against the D-backs, who shocked everybody yes. and should have swept one Mo time. What do you think? I think it's very hard to analyze this game, Norman, because... You have the D-backs who, if they swept, we would be, you know, shocked. We were shocked. We both predicted sweeps the other way. Um, I think that was a pretty common theme throughout the league. But they played great. They played great. They showed a lot of heart. And I really don't know where to go here. I like the D-backs. I won't hit them. Every time I seem to knock that type, I lose. So, Norman, I would think Lookout will sweep. For that reason, I'm not going to do that. Oh, come on. I'm going to say, hot take, Norman. I'm going to predict a D-backs sweep over Lookout. Wow, that's a hot take. Soul. JT, prove me right. Soul, are you... Are you uh, okay, Jordy dislocated his shoulder. They didn't pick up anybody yet. Let's see what happens with that. If they're going to wait for him like you guys are going to wait for Joe G, or if they're going to replace him right away. Um, so, wow, if the D-backs sweep and they should have swept one more time, they will catapult themselves to the most feared team in the league. I yes. mean, um, I don't see that happening. Um, I see a split over here. Lookout might actually sweep them, but I'm going to go with a split because I was so impressed by the D-backs. They really proved me wrong in week one. And um, Lookout, let's face it, they got a lot of breaks. Everything broke perfectly for them. Cold blooded made four or five errors in an inning to yeah. totally, totally uh, dismantle their lead in game one last week. And they also got uh, contributions from all over the field. Everyone played perfectly. I don't know if that could happen on a week by week basis. I'm going to go with the split lookout and the D backs. That's a great hot take from you. Let's see if it happens. Um, okay, the final game of the week. Oh, Ronnie, look out or the Diamondbacks? Which team? Look out. You think they're going to win one game or both games? Um, both games. Both games. Look out to sweep. Ronnie going with Vegas over there. Okay. Cold-blooded and one more time. Oh, my God. What a matchup. They're so, all great matchups. Cold-blooded and one more time. These are two desperate teams right now. Cold-blooded is 0-2. They're, they're, they're in the basement right now. They're in, they're in last place with Rough and Rowdy. And uh, they blew a game, and then they were so depressed after that. I think they were shell shocked. Judging from the post game interviews, they seemed shell shocked, and then they just didn't even show up for game two. I'm gonna let you go first on this one, North. And then you have one more time with Navy. Uh, how could a team look so bad and still get a win? I don't know. They look terrible. Yeah. Terrible. I watched that whole game because uh, Lookout was blowing out cold blooded on East. I uh, on West. I was on East the whole day. And I, they looked so, so bad. How they got a win, I have no idea. They are really lucky. Um, Cold-blooded against one more time. I have to think, <laughs> how can you pick this game? I don't know. I can't go with another, I guess I'm just going to go with a split. I, I really, I'm sorry. Boring, boring predictions from me this week. I think I picked four splits. I think you did. I think that's usually what ends up happening. So you're definitely going to boost yourself in the, league standings. It's actually not what really usually happens. Forward. Although it happened last year, week two, it almost never happens. Right. Um, Cold-blooded one more time. So you're going split. Should I just go? I'm going to go with the split. I'm going to go with the split. Maybe um, 
You gotta think one more time is gonna show up this week. Can they sweep cold blooded and put them at 0 4? Norm, I've been very confused about this one more time team. Okay. Even in our chats, we have separately, we've been discussing them. We're not really sure where to peg them at. I think you give Navy the smallest um, base to launch from with and that then win. And he just goes. And I think he's seeing A, I got that free win. B, I could bury this team cold blooded, which may still be finding their footing. You know, they got swept. Now it's. You, you lose game one, what's going to happen? If I'm 0-4 and, and only five teams make the playoffs, I'm a little scared already. I'm going to go with a one mo time sweep. I think it's a Navy territory type of week for them. And I think that one mo time is the other batters are going to have to wake up. You can't just be Bub. Wow. And, yeah, I'm going to go one mo time sweep. Well, uh, Al Zolta got a big knock at the end of the game. Finally, he had a terrible week. Uh, Ruby Shalou had a big knock. These guys have to hit. Yeah, These guys have to hit. Mo Shama, Jaime Shama. I mean, the lineup is short. You can't have your main guys not hitting. Juber. Juber didn't do anything either. So, um, you know, they, they got to start hitting. If they get a few runs, you got to assume A.B. is going to be there. Yeah. He wasn't great himself either. So uh, the whole team slept off. So let's see if they wake up this week. Cold-Blooded, if they go 0-4, that would be shocking. So I yes. wonder what Cold-Blooded is going to do with their defense. I wonder if they're going to stick with their alignment. You like to see a steady hand, but I don't like the the alignment that they went with. I didn't think that was. We've so been smart. saying this for a while now. Yeah, Ronnie, what do you think? Cold blooded or one mo time? Which team? Uh, I want to hear them pick. No, I want to know which one you're gonna pick. Just guess. Cold blooded or one mo time? Uh, cold blooded. Cold blooded, and do you think they're gonna win both games, or do you think they're just gonna win one game? One game. You sure? Uh, two games. Which one? Two games. You sure? Yeah. Cold blooded gonna sweep. So Ronnie has cold blooded sweeping. Saul has one more time sweeping, and I have them splitting right in the middle. Um, Saul, thank you for your time. Fun fact: Ronnie, Ronnie has thank predicted you for the first time. team mentioned in all four games. Did he? Did he? Yes. Pick up? <laughs> Fun fact. Love his life. Okay. Um, Saul, thank you for your time. Good luck in week two. You had a big week one. Hopefully, you can duplicate it. You set the bar high at third base. Yes. Okay. And. Uh, no weeks off. You're only as good as your last check, as you know. So, yes. uh, you know, you, you have to step up again this week against uh, swimming. Good luck. I am pumped to watch that game. DX Let's do it. Week two, Norm. Wow. Week two. Thank you, and uh, we'll see everybody on Sunday morning. Yes. Thank you, guys. Yee.